Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about the curve repeater and how to create a spiral. I use for this video the version 179, but it should also work with the version 178. So let's start. Something like this. Okay, so I delete everything. And I reset the view and we need um, a box and we change the divisions to division zero. So we need a stair, something like this. post-process of. So we can validate this object. So the direction of the curve repeater is always the green arrow and now let's add a curve repeater. So something like this and we change the value of the count. First I show you how only the twist works. So here's the option in the top pop-up menu for the twist options. Um, you get handles to twist uh, the curve. So something like this and now you see here your twist works in the direction of the middle of the objects. So when you move your objects, nothing happens. So you see here your curve repeater. And when I move the object here a little bit to the side, the curve repeater stays in position but the twist doesn't create a, a spiral. It's always a twist. So how to fix this problem? So it works only when you create um, a group inside the curve repeater. So here use your box and bring it outside the curve repeater and then create a group. So you have to separate the group now and put the box back in the curve repeater. So now when you put your group in the curve repeater, it's possible to... Uh, let's adjust the, the twist a little bit. And when you now move your box, the whole thing changes to something like this. So without group, so I put the box out of the group, it looks like this. And with group, it looks like this. So in the group, it's important that the group pivot or center must be the same as the, the pivot of the curve repeater. So both objects or positions must be the same. So when I use now and, and um, yeah, place the curve repeater on a, uh, the group on a other position, then it changes here. So be careful when you do something like this. So, and when you want to uh, create such a stair, uh, such a stair case, I think, um, and 
sorry, I have a blackout <laughs> at the moment. Yes, I have to select one and use the cell mask. So uh, with the cell mask, you can here mask a part of your object and sorry, symmetry is on, I think. And now you can use your gizmo. And invert the mask. And then you get something like this. So, yeah, it's a little bit tricky to do such things, um, but I hope you understand how it works. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.